Should you build your dream app with no code, vibe code, or stick to traditional coding? Are these new tools a game changer or just shiny traps hyped by BitTech? In this video, we're gonna compare them side by side and show you which app idea works best for each approach. And at the end, we'll show a table comparing all of them together. So let's get us started. You've probably heard the 80-20 rule, right? If not, here is the summary. In most projects and in life, 80% of the results come from 20% of the effort. But that last 20%, that's where projects go to die. It's not that rewarding, it's not flashy, because you are putting 80% of your time, money and energy just to finish the last 20%. With no code, this rule gets amplified. It means that you can build 90% of your app in like 10% or 5% of your time. For example, you can build your authentication system in 20 minutes instead of 3 or 4 days. But good luck getting your app to run in the background or adding a widget to your app. Suddenly you are hacking together workarounds and losing hours. The less of your app that lives in the frustrating zone, the better off you are with no code compared to code. In vibe code, this is even more extreme. You can get to the 80% mark almost instantly, like in 1% of your time. You input one good prompt and AI creates the whole app with authentication, database and a good looking UI all pieced together. Beautiful, like magic. But the last 20% is what a Frenchman would call Caliente Fiesta. Every single 1% improvement feels like 10 times harder. That's it, I'm getting out of here. You ask the AI to tweak one little thing and suddenly it rewrites half of the app. It starts tripping over its own logic, breaking things that were already working. One moment is your amazing co-pilot, the next is flying the plane into the big mountains. So yeah, wipe code is powerful, but past that 80% mark, you need to slow down and take control and actually read what it gave you. At some point, you'll either have to learn a bit of code or hire someone to fix up some of the last bits. If you are enjoying this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up and even subscribing. It helps a lot. So here is the question. Is the 80% of your product enough to launch? If it is, congrats. You are the absolute winner of this race. You'll beat everyone in the market. But implementation is not going to take all of your time. Learning how to implement it is also very important. This brings us to barrier to entry. We all know it's pretty hard to learn to code. You'll be learning for at least six to nine months, assuming you learn it full time. You need to know how the backend works, how the frontend works, how do they talk to each other, and a lot more, like how to debug errors at 2 a.m. when they don't make any sense. That's the fun part. It's powerful, but not casual. How about no code? The barrier is way lower. Think of it as learning Photoshop or PowerPoint. It takes some time to learn it, but you get results pretty fast. After a few weeks or maybe a month of learning, you can build actual apps. The drag and drop UI, the visual workflows, the pre-made database solutions, they all make your life a lot easier. You are not a developer as a traditional sense, but you feel like one, and that's really empowering. But do you know what's even more empowering? Vibe code. If you use something like Bolt or Replit, it's basically an open door. There is no barrier, you just tell it what you want and you can see the AI do everything beautifully. But honestly, in most cases, you can't go beyond prototyping. Don't confuse easy to start with easy to finish. This brings us to some of the best use cases for Vibe code and no code. Need a landing page with some forms and small functions? If you need a decent design very fast, vibe code it. It's fast, stylish, and gets the job done immediately. If you need it to look amazing, use something like Webflow or Flutterflow. Or you want to create a CRM for your own company, no code it. You get dashboards, user roles, and workflows without writing one single line of code. What are you doing? Hmm? What are you doing? Me? <laughs> Just hanging around. 
Something like Flutterflow really shines with big projects with lots of easy features like data management or user authentication. Booking system with payments, notification and calendar sync. Mm. No code is great unless you need deep customization like dynamic pricing or multi-vendor logic and um, it's going to be a bloated project. You need to code it. Do you want to prototype a SaaS idea over the weekend to see if it sticks? Vibe code it. A lot of times an idea in your head seems super exciting, but when you see it in the real world for once, sadly there was one invention James hadn't considered. You realize it's not that billion dollar idea you thought. Vibe code is the best solution for these kind of projects. Perfect for MVPs and quick investor demos. Nowadays, if you don't have a working prototype, don't even think of pitching it to investors. Now let's zoom out and look at the three options side by side. The real takeaway, each has strengths and each has limits. The best tool is the one that fits your project and your skills and budget. By the way, we have a Patreon community where we create projects together, a Patreon replacement. We create extended cuts of the tutorials and also let you clone the projects we work on YouTube and Patreon. So if you're fancy with Flutterflow and app development, I think you'll love it over there. Thank you for watching the video to the end and I hope I see you all in the next one.